This is Les Pavlovich of the Free GeoTools blog, and today is the last look at Map Window, and I'll be looking at some of its advanced shapefile manipulation features. I have here two shapefile layers, one blue, one orange, and if I turn off the blue one temporarily, you'll see there's a little bit of overlap between the two. If I want to determine the area of the two shapes that overlaps, I can do that by clipping one polygon with the other. Go to GIS Tools, Vector, Clip Shapefile with Polygon, select the layer I want to clip, select the layer I want to clip with, I also need to select the actual shape I'm clipping with, choose Done, have the Add Results to Map Box checked so it will add it automatically to the, uh, the current display, and it clips it. If I turn off the original two layers, you can see there's the overlapping layer. Back to the original display now. Now suppose I want to find out what part of this orange polygon is not covered by the blue polygon. I can do that by erasing the blue from the orange. Go to GIS Tools, Vector, Erase Shapefile with Polygon, and then use a similar procedure. Select the uh, bottom layer, select the shape from the top layer that I want to uh, erase with, click Done, click OK, and now if I turn off the original layers, you can see now I have the uh, orange polygon that area that is not overlapped by the blue, blue polygon layer. By the way, that erase feature is useful if you want to create a shape file that has holes in it. You just create a solid polygon and then use the erase feature to subtract out a hole from the middle of it or from the side. I can also merge both of these shapes into a single shape and put it into a brand new shape file layer. Go to GIS Tools, Vector, Merge Shapes. Select the layers you want to merge. Also have to select the individual shapes from each layer that you want to merge. So I'll select this one, click Done. Select it from the other layer, click Done, click OK. And now we've got both of the shapes together in a brand new, um, in a single polygon, in a brand new layer. I can also split a shape into two separate shapes with a line. I have a line already pre-drawn. I go to GIS Tools and clip polygon with line. Select the uh, shape file I want to uh, uh, clip, the line shape file I want to clip it with. I also have to select once again those individual shapes. Done. Select the line. Done. Click OK. Now if I turn off the original two layers, you can see there are two polygons here, either of which can be selected separately. Unlike a lot of freeware GIS editors, Map Window has a buffering feature. If I want to buffer this layer, go to GIS Tools, Vector, Buffer Shapes. I can choose either all the shapes in a layer or specific shapes. I'll choose all of them in this case. I'm going to buffer this by 15 meters. Click on OK and it creates a brand new polygon that's larger than the original one. 